President Obama is applauding Sony Pictures tonight for its decision to screen the new movie, The Interview, after all. It will be shown at a limited number of theaters on Christmas Day, including one in Richardson. The comedy prompted an international incident with North Korea, a massive hack attack on Sony, and outrage over its canceled release. Fox 4's Natalie Felice has more from Richardson tonight. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Richard. Well, it was on and then it was off and now it's back on again. It sounds like a bad romantic comedy, uh, but this has actually turned into an opportunity for this movie chain and others to do what they set out to do, and that is share this movie with viewers. And so far, the response has been overwhelming. Last night, we're told that there were rumblings that Sony might release the movie for Christmas Day, and folks here at the Alamo Draft House got word this morning that that indeed is the case. And they did not waste any time opening up online ticket sales. Now, the movie was yanked by Sony after a cyber attack by North Korea and a group that promised attacks on theaters showing the film. Well, Alamo Drafthouse says those threats have been determined to be unfounded. We're a movie theater for movie lovers run by movie lovers, you know, and so we all along have supported um, Sony and, and said, if you want a place to show this movie, you know, you have our theaters. This is America. I come from another country. I appreciate the freedom of this country. And I think it's, uh, it's everybody, everybody's uh, duty to support Sony and the Draft House. And well, Alamo Draft House says it plans on having a special menu complete with freedom fries, a red and white blue burger, and apple pie. Uh, it will also have a Kim Jong un cutout that people can pose with. Now, people we talked to were very much in support of the chain's decision to show the film Christmas Day. In fact, several people described it as the American thing to do. Now, uh, there was such high demand for tickets that the website crashed. Uh, it is back up right now. Uh, one man uh, we spoke to says that he actually showed up. He was having a hard time buying those tickets online. So he showed up uh, to get tickets for another day. He's giving them out as Christmas presents. Um, the theater is adding extra showings. They've got showings through New Year's Day. And if it doesn't work out here, I'm told that the uh, Galaxy Drive-In in Ennis has a 7 p.m. showing on Christmas Day. So, Richard, it looks like movie tickets uh, for the interview have turned into the must-have uh, Christmas item, or at least a, a pretty cool stocking stuffer.